Today's discussion proves how important the topic of just transition is, not only for the power industry, but also for the society. Polish power sector welcomes the allocation of 25% of climate-dedicated financing in the new multi-annual financial framework. We believe that perspective 2021-2027 is essential also for the long-term perspective. However, very few money are available for countries with a different starting point and a high share of coal. For those, low carbon generation will be crucial to ensure a smooth transition and it will require massive investments. We need to discuss how do we get the energy transition really on the road, that we get the financing, the investments that we need to come to this decarbonization of our energy system. Decarbonizing the sector um, involves a number of additional investments and some costs, but also business opportunities in future. And we need to have a look at how uh, the companies and uh, the citizens as well will be in a position to invest in the new technologies, in the carbon neutral solutions, how we can make the grid smarter, how we can make the grid ready for uh, EVs, electric vehicles, for example, you have some countries that depend still uh, largely on coal and what's the way forward for them? Well, the, the challenge is huge. I, I should uh, remind you that uh, currently electricity generated from coal is estimated at a level 80%. Our goal proposed in energy policy for 2040 is to have a, a little bit above 30%, while in 2030, 60% of electricity generated from coal. Having in mind that at the beginning of this century, the electricity generated from coal was at the level of almost 100%. So it is a very huge challenge and a very big ambitious. Well, we've been calling for a just energy transition fund uh, as part of the next EU budget uh, because we believe that these regions uh, need uh, specific funding and that they need to be uh, tackled in a, in a very specific way. So that's one of our key asks indeed. We need uh, some kind of redistribution system within the uh, European Union in order to afford the uh, transition that is going to take place. And especially in countries in the Central and the Eastern Europe, uh, where the structure of uh, energy uh, creation is a bit different, especially more carbon intensive, uh, then uh, we probably need some help with that. The European Commission in, in the communication long-term strategy until 2050 assumed that uh, annual investment needs in the EU is at the level of 360 billion euro, uh, which is a huge money and it, it cannot be done. I mean the investments cannot be done without private sector, uh, private sector I I involvement. It, and this is a fact that the role of uh, European sources may be only a uh, encouraging, encouraging for, for private sector to, to invest.